But now with the ban, you might be wondering, what does that mean for our gas prices? It's likely you'll see those prices rise even more. Channel 8's Macy Meyer talked with officials today and has a breakdown on what you could expect. Macy? Well, guys, to give you an idea, even though only about 3% of oil used in U.S. last year came from Russia, the effects of banning those imports will certainly trickle down. It's safe to say many have already been feeling the hurt at the gas pump, with the national average hitting over $4 a gallon for the first time since 2008. We have never seen price increases as dramatic as what we're seeing right now. I've been in this industry for a long, long time. With President Biden banning all Russian energy imports due to the Ukrainian invasion, those prices are only expected to rise. Exactly how much is yet to be determined? I think it's going to uh, make it much worse, uh, which unfortunately is uh, bad for Nebraskans, bad for our end of the industry as petroleum marketers. About 3% of oil used in the U.S. last year came from Russia. And while that may not seem like a lot, the oil and gas industry operates on a world market, which means this ban will certainly have an impact. The goal is to hurt the Russians' pocketbooks even more. It's worth $17.5 billion to the Russians annually. That's American money going to the Russians, 40% of which funds their government big part of that government is military operations in Ukraine. Congressman Fortenberry said while he realizes the reality rising gas prices might have on Americans, he believes the sights and sounds from Ukraine will help Americans understand the need for sanctions. And it's a legitimate concern. It probably will impact gas prices. But I think most Nebraskans and certainly perhaps most Americans are willing to pay that price as they look at the horror of what's happening. The Russians targeting women and children, taking over an entire country. Both Whitehead and Congressman Fortenberry said these rising gas prices will remain an issue until America comes more independent when it comes to energy. Some interesting stuff there. Macy, thank you very much for that story tonight.